So this is our living room. Um, this is kind of like a place where we welcome our friends to have a cocktail before we go to dinner. This is kind of like the cozy place where we're doing the holidays. We have our Christmas tree where we exchange gifts, where we have our fireplace on. I love that this is kind of like an easy conversation room. We don't, we want to make sure that everyone feels comfortable. There's tools that you can pull out if you want to just come and sit. Different than the nine foot ceilings. So that was a huge change because I was obsessed with this light and this light needed to make it home. So this is a Ralph Lauren chandelier. Um, and I love the combination with the brass and the leather. Gives it kind of like a masculine but old school look to the room. Clearly working at Ralph Lauren kind of influenced a lot of my look. All that combination of like uh, metals with leather with kind of like a European international look. Also kind of a little bit of American masculine, kind of like influenced in every single room. Um, I love it that it feels lived. It doesn't need to feel like it's a gallery or like a show house. It's kind of like a lived room where you want to be comfortable. That's why I want my guests. Um, again, since we kept kind of like the look of the house, I wanted to bring some of the vintage pieces that give it a little bit more original character. I clearly like some layers. So there's always books and trays and like the layers of like different items. Again, every single piece in the house has a little bit of history. Welcome to the dining room. This is actually one of my favorite rooms in the house. Love hosting dinner parties. I want people to be comfortable and have the most fun time having conversations. Uh, this room, I wanted to actually keep it a little cozy. So we didn't raise the ceiling in here. We wanted to make it still look like super moody and dark, um, candle lit whenever we're doing our dinner parties. Um, this is actually one of my most um, like one of the most special walls in the house. I love layering the grass cloth with all these paintings that have a little meaning um, and different history to it. So one of my favorite things is actually this golden egg. Um, this is actually the centerpiece for our golden egg dinner party. It actually holds your flatware and we have a different theme every month but we change it up every month and it's always the same group of people. The golden egg is always the centerpiece and I just do the flower arrangements and the candle depending on the theme. Those pieces of art are always like, some people wanted to design a room around their piece of art. Some people kind of like are the opposite, like design a room and then the art will find its place. This was kind of like one of those that it was like, the last piece that found its little corner and kind of added a little color. Another one of my favorite collections is uh, these spies. They were actually a gift from a client uh, they're the Vanity Fair Spies. Each one is uh, a different gentleman, and it actually has the history in the back of what they did or what their profession was. I love doing the sofa in the dining room. I feel like it's kind of like a special place, but also I kind of wanted to add a different fabric and a different shape that it didn't just feel like a collection of chairs. I kind of like adding that extra like feeling and like um, color just to make it a little bit different and not just like a uh, we love traveling, so every time that we go somewhere new, we try to bring something that kind of reminds us of our trips. Um, we also love combining our home heirlooms, so every single piece that has something from our family that means something, we put it out just to like kind of remind us of where we come from. Bedroom of the house. Um, this is kind of like our cozy, more intimate, kind of like more comfortable room in the house. Uh, I wanted to make it very masculine with a lot of textures and more uh, of a warmer space. Um, we added the texture in the ceiling. I call the ceiling the fifth wall of a room. It's kind of fun to add a little bit of a different impact just to kind of open the space and not just have one giant white wall that doesn't have that much of a interest to the eye. Um, design. Uh, it is supposed to look like it's a turtle shell, but it's actually all bamboo that has been treated to look like the effect of a turtle shell. So clearly I was going to be obsessed with it. Um, of course, it's great storage and I just love layering it surrounding the TV so the TV is not just the focal point. Even setting the lamp kind of like a little bit in front of it kind of makes it like a little bit more layered and not just what you look at when you first look at the wall. This is the primary bathroom. This is a room that we spent quite a bit of time in the morning, and we had this mural made by one of our local friends, artist. Her name is Ashley Braithwaite. She spent five weeks here working on all the details. And she, I love that she hid kind of a couple little things throughout. Interesting and a little bit more spacious and symmetric with the rest of the bathroom. It's actually pretty nice. It's kind of nice also that you don't have to rush someone to be able to get into the shower. You can take your time and, you know, do your own schedule in the morning.